American Natividad near Bathurst and St. Clair, where drivers here are dealing with an issue that many drivers across the GTA are probably dealing with as well. Potholes. Check this out. As I showed you earlier, one big pothole here, another one big big one here and a couple little ones in the right hand lane. A lot of these drivers just straddling the white line to avoid them. Now the city fills about 200,000 potholes per year, yet it remains the number one complaint to 311. And if you're thinking with this warmer weather that it might be best to fill them now uh, and be a little bit proactive about it, well, think again. It causes a hazard for the drivers, for the trucks. The buses, the streetcars. This weathered piece of road sits right in front of Urban Fair. Luann Soto is the assistant manager and says she doesn't even need to be outside to see the run ins that happen daily on this slice of road. We hear them hit because there's nowhere for them to go. They can't turn off into the traffic in the right lane and they can't go into oncoming traffic. So they literally will hit and we hear the bang inside. Soto says the fractured road has been there for at least six months and continues to deteriorate. And the pylon warning drivers of the road hazard, even that has become a hazard unto itself, getting knocked into the middle of the road. It's an issue echoed throughout the city as drivers contend with thousands of potholes, big and small, some so deep and so neglected. In one pothole, guerrilla gardeners were able to grow enough tomatoes to make a fresh salad. On an average day, 25 city crews are out repairing potholes. Each one costs roughly $25 to repair. The city Budgets about four to five million dollars annually for the job. I think I think we should be investing more in in uh, in, in pothole filling. Uh, get them done uh, quicker if we get those service levels done. City Councilor James Pasternak heads the Committee on Road Infrastructure. He says at the moment drivers will just have to contend with the potholes until the weather gets warmer. Uh, if we wait till spring, uh, there's a risk that there's more damage, but the potholes will hold in the warmer weather. It's, they're very, it's very hard to get a pothole filled in this kind of weather. But certainly when I go back to committee, I'm going to be talking with the general manager of transportation and seeing what new innovations we can introduce to the city of Toronto to make sure that the potholes are limited and reduced, that we reduce property damage and personal injury, and make sure our roads are safe. But the cost also falls on the driver as well. We just had one today with a customer went through a severe pothole and blew out a suspension component on the vehicle. Panosian says the damage caused by a solid run over a pothole, depending on how big the hole is, can run you $500 to $1,000. Cars go through these potholes and they do get pretty much damaged. Their rims get cracked, uh, tires get burst, um, also suspension components break as well. Now, you can make a claim against the city for pothole damages. For information and more detailed information on that, you can head to the City of Toronto website. If you just want to report a pothole, of course, 311 is what you need to call. Uh, they try to fill it within four days, but they will prioritize based on size and location.